Okay, we're back again and we had a little introduction to blogs and now I would like to talk to you about um, specifically creating a group blog and working within a blog as a group. Um, this is a really great feature of the system because it allows you to work collaboratively on um, content that is ready for the web. You can use the whole uh, interface that we have for posting content, which will allow you to embed videos and uh, you know all the other things that we I've shown you when we we looked at uh, posting articles. But it also allows you to sh to work within a context where you are developing your uh, posts and linking them up within um, a group project through a group blog. So um, I have Cindy Blogger logged in again and uh, she has formed a group called the Active Learning Group. So if uh, you're part of this group you can go in there and you can see uh, who, well, that's not true. Anyone can go in and look at a group. Not everyone can access the content to modify the group uh, information. So this group has three members. It has Cindy Blogger as the administrator, and then there's two group moderators. When you form a group, you have the option to create a blog. So uh, she has created a blog for this group called the ASDL Active Learning Curricular Materials blog. So if I click on there, I'm going to go into a whole new blog. And this is where this group of people can develop content that has to do with uh, active learning curricular materials. Uh, if uh, um, you decided to you know add more categories and more content links to those would appear here it would be searchable uh, it would just be like uh, the main site uh, content as well you can uh, log in here and uh, leave comments and that sort of thing so um, the dashboard is just like you've seen on the rest of the site there's no surprises there the one thing that I want you to notice though is the blog authors there are three authors who are uh, who have access to being able to come in here to the dashboard and add content to here if this was a private blog the only blog author that would be here would be the the owner or the creator of the blog so um, this is a group blog and the way you know is that when you come in here there's more than one uh, user who can uh, add content and um, uh, publish content on this blog. If you create a group, with a blog, and you are the editor, or the owner, of the group, you'll notice that you have an administration administrator link here. Other members in this group do not have this admin link. Only the person who created uh, the group has it. And so you can edit um, this content here if you want that to be saved. You can uh, edit your group settings. You can manage your members. But the one thing that has to do with blogs that you need to be aware of is if you have a group blog, you can set the permissions for who gets to do blog posting right here. So if you want users who are in this group to be able to add content without your um, permission to publish it, you need to change them to editors. So um, that's the uh, group blog. It's a little bit different because you have more than one user and then you have you know a leader of the blog and of the group. So um, I hope everyone will go out and form a group and start blogging and um, have a bunch of content to share. Thanks.